Today is <clears throat> Divine Mercy Sunday, and our Lord promises many special graces on this day as we venerate his image, the image, and we are blessed to have that beautiful image here in this, this church here where we can venerate it and uh, especially venerate the, the mercy of, of Jesus, which he offers to each and every one of us, as well as those who are, are not practicing their faith, <clears throat> who he wants to beckon back to him. And to beckon them back, he needs to, he wants the world to know of his divine mercy. He wants them to know of his infinite mercy, his unfathomable mercy and the un unimaginable graces he wants to offer to them and to you and me on this day. And when we embrace his mercy and trust in his mercy towards each one of us in, in particular, and uh, when we think of great sinners, we should think of, of ourselves, each, each, each one of us. We are all great sinners. We are all big sinners that are in need, and, in need of the mercy of Jesus. <clears throat> and we too, you, you and I, need to trust in his mercy to cleanse us from our sins. Uh, and with our cooperation, of course, we must make every effort to do God's will as perfectly as we can and to remove every occasion of sin, to remove all, um, all the things that separate us from God and our self-focus, our self-will. We need to dedicate ourselves more fully and totally to, to our Lord with the graces that God gives us and we throw ourselves on the mercy of God. We throw, it's like throwing ourselves on the, in the lap of a loving father, loving mother, <clears throat> who we know uh, love us and, uh, and are good and want to forgive us and, and clean, cleanse us and make us pure and holy again. So even with our sins, we go, we still should not be afraid of God. We should go to him and bring our sins and ask his forgiveness and his and him for to transform us and his and not bring our own mentality our own restrictions and limitations as we sort of think of our neighbor will forgive them but with is there's a limit to the forgiveness that we offer to our neighbor generally <clears throat> and we think god is in the same same mindset and he's not his unfathomable mercy his infinite mercy that he shows to to the greatest of sinners and he says, with his mercy, he can change the greatest sinner into the greatest saint. <clears throat> and we, we all need to believe that. Uh, and we need to teach it and preach it. And this is why God, uh, Jesus, appeared to Saint, uh, Saint uh, Faustina and, and, and asked her and asked all of us and the priests especially to preach the mercy of God because God wants his mercy to be known much more profoundly, much more widely much more thoroughly in the world because that's that will encourage people to come to God. That will encourage them to to uh, to know that He can He can forgive their sins because people look at their sins and the evils they have done and the mountain of sins that they and, and you and I too have, uh, and we get discouraged and we think God can't forgive. We think God is not good enough uh, to 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 forgive us these sins, but. But if they know that his mercy is, is <clears throat> wider than the ocean, deeper than the ocean, is infinite. And uh, you know, as Catholics, we need to preach that, that kind of mercy, that truth, the truth of the mercy of God, which overcomes his justice. God wants, to, wants to, 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 to demonstrate his mercy, to share his mercy, to give out his mercy to everyone. <clears throat> So we as Catholics need to be ministers of the, his mercy, preachers of his mercy, believers in his mercy, first to ourselves personally and also to our neighbor. And of course, we need to be ministers of, of practicing mercy too, to our, our neighbor in actions and words and in, <clears throat> and in thought and in prayer for, for, for our neighbors and for sinners, for the world. <clears throat> to be uh, preachers of this, this mercy. And so, uh, and uh, there are special graces that are given to us, uh, the torrents of graces that are offered to each of us on this very day. We go to communion, we, uh, we, we go to confession, and uh, we trust in the mercy of God, and God will pour forth those, those uh, torrents of mercy and graces into our souls. For why? 
not just to forgive our sins, but to transform us, to make us holy, to make us even saints, to make us great saints. We need to be open to that and, 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 and asking for that and, and allowing that, that grace of God and the mercy of God to change us, to make us better, to make us much better, uh, and, and, uh, and to, 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 do, to, to do it all with the grace of God and trust in him, trust in his, his mercy um, and his grace to, to change us, not our, our, not our own efforts uh, alone, but his efforts with, with ours. And um, so let us uh, take advantage of the mercy of God in the right way, take advantage of it um, for our betterment and for the betterment of the world. Thank you.